So for the five of you that are here on time, can you hear me okay? Yep. Thank you. I know it's a busy night for everyone, so I don't think we'll have too many. Just give people a couple more minutes. Okay, so who's two zero two five nine eight five two nine two? That's actually me. Um, yeah, my computer wasn't connecting, so I called in with my phone as well. So. Wait, who's me? Uh, Mike Austin. Oh, hey, Mike. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah, so hi, Karen. That's just my man on here too. Thank you. Yeah, it's funny. I don't see any of the Girl Scouts. Come on, man. Did they not get the email? Let's see. I find Gary and Mike. Okay. Oh, I see you down there, Mike. Okay. All right. Well, we're just going to go ahead and get started. And when someone jumps in, they can jump in. Um, one second. Let me just scroll through here real quick. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do, since there's only six of you that logged in, I'm just going to um, quickly, I've got a couple questions for a few of you. So we're going to do that now. Then, if, then I'll go through the presentation afterwards, um, just in case a few more log in. Um, okay, Gary, I'm going to start with you. Um, there are two players, two players that got assigned to Ashford to Ashford. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I, want to put, and I want to put them on your team. I want to put them on your team. Oh, this is the, okay. uh, this is the, uh, I'm getting back. I'm getting feedback. I'm getting, back. I'm getting feedback. Uh, It's the ninth grade. Uh, it's the ninth grade. Okay. Uh, so let me know if there's and anyone. So let me know if there's anyone that wants, wants to move. Oh. Oh, that's yeah, a different I mean, question. I don't have to. I'm I mean, just saying I don't have to. You're going to have okay. to have to have to I mean, there are some new kids to my team who don't know me, but um, I'll... Okay, we'll look through the list and let me know. We'll look through the list and let me know. All right, because they've already seen what team they're on, right? I oh, know, that's okay. There's been oh, lots that's of moves. Okay. There's been lots of moves. Okay. Per, per usual. Right, I'll, I'll... Per usual. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are they good. kids who were okay, uh, were they kids who played for me last season? Or are these just no? Kids? They were Cliff Andrews, no, and, Cliff a Andrews hit. and a friend of Andrews and a friend Okay. Cliff's not coaching this season. Cliff's not so. coaching this season. So. Okay. Okay. We'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Uh, Mike, you're up next. Um, mm -hmm. Get the changes. I think we're done with the changes, so I think you're good with the team you have. Okay. Now. Okay. Um, so just to let, let you right. know that. Um, Moran, I think I added a player to your team this afternoon. Um, so just double check your roster okay. for that. Um, man, I wish I, those girls coaches were on. We got, um, most of you guys are practicing like Brambleton area. Um, which is okay, except then, you know, you get players who say they, they can't go there, but that's the way it is. Um, okay, let me just, I'm gonna go through these slides quickly. And then if you guys have questions for me regarding rosters, practice schedules, field location, game schedule, um, if I don't cover it while I'm talking, um, feel free to ask at the end. Um, Okay, so second here. There we go. 
Most of you guys have seen this slideshow before. Um, so I'm gonna whiz through some of this. Um, I'm assuming everybody knows that Dan Raven has left Loud and Soccer. Um, Dan was a stickler for over deep, I would call him the over detail guy. I'm like the less detailed person. So we'll see how things go with him, God. But um, the new person who took over his director of player development is um, Darren Patricio. And um, we'll see his contact information in a few minutes. Okay, so just so you guys know, if you do, I know you guys are coaching high schools, so this might not apply to all of you, but we do offer the Rec Technical Training Academy and the Goalkeeper Academy up to grade 12. And that Goalkeeper Academy is free. So if you guys have somebody that you wanna send on Friday nights, um, take a look at that um, on our website. Um, so here's Darren. I don't know what we should have put his email on here, but it's basically, it's similar to my email. It's darren.patricio at loudandsoccer.com. If you have any specific coaching question, uh, questions, um, you know, field type soccer questions, he's the one to go to. And obviously Jamie's still working on the practice schedule. So I know some of you have already emailed me about your practice schedule, which is fine. I'll just forward it to Jamie or you can always go to Jamie directly um, for a quicker answer. And somebody, uh, Moran, was that you that had the practice problem? Yes, that's correct. Uh, I, was a uh, I was scheduled on a Monday and Tuesday in yeah. two consecutive days, yeah. Okay, and have you heard back from her yet? No, nothing. Okay. okay. I, I, I sent out a follow-up message today, I but I haven't heard anything back. Okay, I will follow up with her tonight and we'll get you an answer by tomorrow. I truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, sure. No, that's not a problem. I know, I think what happened, just so you guys know, was some of the practice schedules, like if you requested Tuesday and Thursday at 6.30, so did everybody else. Um, so then they tried to give you your... Um, whatever your second you know, backup date was. And sometimes that does, does give you two days in a row, which I know for high schoolers, they don't wanna probably go to practice twice a week anyways, much less two days in a row. So, yeah. um, so I will follow. Mine, uh, mine was two days in a row too, if you remember, Karen. Yeah. Um, it was Wednesday, that? Thursday. Uh, I, I don't think so. You haven't heard I haven't yet? seen a change, but. Okay, no. all right, I'll, okay, I'll follow up on that too, okay. All right, good. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. Um, okay, um, just so you guys know, two more things to put on your calendar. If you wanna attend Thursday night for an hour, this is for any coaches, not just high school coaches, but I will tell you if Darren's running it, it'll probably be pretty good. Um, Darren's a really um, good instructor. So you might wanna put that on your calendar. And then this Saturday um, is your equipment pickup. Believe it or not, the jerseys are already in. And one of my volunteers has offered to come in and help me and hopefully we'll have them all sorted and I'll also have those ready. These are the kids' jerseys. I'll have those ready for pickup on Saturday also. So you guys are at 1130 and then um, there's a field um, session at me if you can stay for that. And that's um, at Loudon Soccer Park. I haven't checked the weather. Hopefully it's not going to be 10 degrees. That's it. My computer is locked. There we go. Okay. Obviously rosters may change. They've already changed a bunch of times. Um, and I know some of you emailed me like, you know, when can I contact my team? Well, um, as Gary just said, I, I know he's already contacted everybody. Um, what I normally do if I have to make a change um, and you've already contacted somebody, I will let them know, um, you know, that I'm moving them to another team and why. Um, if we, if like, for example, if I added two players to Gary's team and now he has 20 and Tom Ashford only has 16, well, I guess that's kind of, and no one wants to move, that's kind of the way it is. But um, I did my best, um, just so you guys know, since it's all the boys coaches that are online right now, there's six, um, 
there's six boys teams in ninth grade and there's six boys teams in the 10th to 12th grade, which will make a really nice uh, division. I mean, you will have to play one team twice and then obviously you'll play another team again in the playoffs, but you won't have any buys. There won't be any double headers. Um, but the teams are relatively, they range from like the older teams are between 17 and 18 on each team. And I think the ninth grade teams are anywhere from, I think Tom's team now is 16 and all the other teams have 18 or 19. So hopefully you'll be okay. Um, you guys already know this because you're already signed up, but if anybody else wants to help to be your assistant, you guys know, just make sure they sign up on the web page and then make sure you or that person contacts me about assigning them to your team. Um, I was reading this the other day and I was kind of giggling. I'm like, do we still have to bring hand sanitizer? But I guess maybe we do. So um, you guys know what they, what they need to bring. And we know you can't wear jewelry, the type of soccer shoes they should be wearing. Um, cast, I always get questions on cast. It's up to the discretion of the referee. Hopefully no one will be in that situation. Um, if you guys haven't sent a note out or you wanna send another note out, this weekend is the Dick's Sporting Goods discount day. So if anybody needs a new soccer ball, it's a good time to go. Okay, so the jerseys, um, does any, any of you coaches a boys team want to be hot pink? Don't all jump at once. <laughs> okay, cause there's hot pink. It was supposed to be like a rose color and it's hot pink. But if anybody wants and doesn't want to say now, you can email me later. Otherwise I'll just pick a team and you know, somebody will get hot pink. They're kind of cool actually. Um, someone is trying to call into my phone. Hold on one second. Hello? Oh, they want to extend my car warranty. Okay, uh, next. Um, safe return to play. I mean, we do still have that committee. If Hi, some... Karen, sorry. Yeah. This is okay. Marco. I coached girls high school. Oh, hey, Mark. Um, are we, so are, we're going to get the same color jerseys again, or they're going to be a different no, color? They'll be or... They'll be different. So okay. we, that's a good question though. So um, Dan ordered them before he left. So we have eight different colors, which is perfect because for girls, there's eight teams. So everybody has a different color. For the boys, it's six and six. So again, you'll have different colors, but I guess a little confusing. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do when I sort them out, it really comes down to sizes and what sizes you ordered and which color will depend on what color you end up. Okay. But every, but Marco, everyone will get a New Jersey. Okay. Okay. Sure. If that helps. All right. Thank you. But if you had a color last year and you really like that color and you still want that color, I have no problem with you emailing me. Hey, we were blue last year because it's kind of nice to have a backup jersey if you needed one. So. Uh, right. I'm okay. Yeah, we were we we've been green for the past two seasons. So I think the oh, girls want a different. They want to be different color this oh, year. Oh, okay. Well, you know what, Marco, send me an email because I'll forget and I'll end up giving you green. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, Marco said he wanted green. I'm giving him green. Okay. So send me a note, please. All right. I'll send you one. Oh, Thanks. Okay. No, thank you. Um, okay. Safe sport. Hopefully you guys have all completed your um, safe sport thing um, online. And I'm going to skip through that. Yeah. Did, did anybody have any issue with the safe sport? Okay. Good. Good to hear. Um, I haven't gotten to take it yet, but. Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah, do it as soon as you can. I will. <laughs> okay. I will, yeah. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you for your honesty. Um, <laughs> obviously, there's no restrictions with heading, but just um, remember we do have the concussion um, protocol that, you know, hopefully you guys all know how to follow. Um, if someone does, the most important thing is if a family takes their child to the doctor and they do have a concussion, the family has to provide a return to play document to you from their healthcare person before they can join back in. Um, weather, you guys all know about the weather. You know, it hasn't rained in a while. It did rain the other day. It'll probably start raining on next Monday. Um, 
Now, here's the good news. Most of your games are actually, all your games are going to be on turf. So games are either going to be at Light Ridge, Riverside, or Broad Run. I think those are the three locations. Either way, um, the good news is, as long as it's not thunder or lightning, you'll get to play your games. Practices, you know, is another story. Um, okay, so I'm sure you guys do it this way, but you know, you can either send your messages uh, to your team through your team page, or you can use your personal email. You can download the emails. It's a little clunky how you get to those emails through that print roster feature. But once you download them, just make sure you're blind copying people unless everybody's okay with um, sharing their email address. Um, okay, they're, they're updating this app. So the Game Changer app, which was so terrible, because once you downloaded the kids into the app, they wouldn't update it for you. you I think you had to do it manually. Um, they are updating it. So has anyone downloaded it yet? Like new this season? Not yet. Okay, if someone downloads that and they find that it's better or worse, please let me know. I know they're in the process right now of updating it. So it might be clunky again this season and then hopefully um, uh, uh, hey, Karen, Marilyn yeah. here. Yeah. I I already downloaded the application and I tried okay. to use it. Yeah. It's the better work. version, but uh, I have to say there is not much you can do through this mm -hmm. game changer app. All you can do is inviting the people to join the team, and that's as much as it does. That's as far as it goes. And it, that might be because has your practice and game schedule been uploaded? Well, not the game schedule because I haven't done it yet. But has the practice schedule been uploaded into your um, in, it's in your schedule, even though it's wrong? Yes, it is there. Okay. Uh, it, it shows the first uh, Monday and Tuesday, Correct. which is 28th of March and 29th. Uh -huh. Those are uploaded. But in the Game Changer, the only functionality that is visible to me is just inviting people and just adding their names. Uh, it's not even automatic. I did it manually, but that's as, as far as it goes. Okay, because what it should let you do once everybody's in there is email the team, um, it, and it should also show your schedule, you know, your get your practice schedule, and then it should show the game schedule once I put it in there. But how the old game changer worked, like let's say you put in your practice schedule of Monday, Tuesday, and then Jamie changed you to Monday, Wednesday. I believe you'd have to go back in and manually change it to Monday, Wednesday. So don't get too. I guess my point is right now, don't get too excited about the app yet until we get that squared away. Um, and obviously it looks like there's instructions on our website under the rec tab. So you might, you might take a look at that. I, I'm definitely, I don't use the app, so I'm not an expert. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm not much help in that regard. Oh, that's um, okay. <laughs> um, we will, we will fumble along together. Um, so once again, we are playing outside of the SFL, which is so awesome for me. I hope it's awesome for you guys too. Um, I do hope uh, last year we did, even though we were playing in-house, we still had one assistant coach that was red carded. So I hope that doesn't happen again. Um, Cause one of the things I love about playing with inland soccer is we all know each other. We're the same group, we're the same community. And even though we all want to win, you know, hopefully we can keep our, um, keep our heads sound. Stay out of trouble. Um, okay, so here we are with our calendar. Practices begin March 28th. Okay, now opening day is April 9th. So we are aware that spring break starts that weekend. I've, um, hey, somebody's not on mute. I'm not sure who it is. Can you guys check your um, mute button, please? Thank you. Um, so here's the deal with the ninth going to have a game so tell all your kids now find out who's going to be gone you know if you at least have an 11 or 12 you know let's try and get the game in um i haven't done the schedule yet so if there's something you know you find out out of 20 players you're only going to have eight kids you know let me know as soon as possible 
if you're going to be gone, I would suggest trying to find someone else to fill in for you. Um, the problem is just finding another time to play that game. It, it's just, it's a weird schedule with where spring break fell. So it was kind of the only thing you could do. Um, obviously there's no games on April 16th. And then um, here's another thing that's kind of weird. So May 21st is going to be your last regular season game because May 28th is Memorial Day weekend. Now we still might use that for like a rain out or a makeup game, but then the playoffs are June 4th. So let's say we make it through the whole spring with no rain. I just jinxed myself. And your last game is May 21st. Then you're gonna have two weeks of practice before the playoffs on June 4th. Any questions on those dates? And again, the good news is since um, all the divisions are even, we don't have to worry about any, any buys or double headers. Um, okay, so for those of you that are kind of new to this, um, what we do is we keep standings during the regular season. So let's say that we'll go, let's use the boys ninth grade as, um, in an example, so there's six teams. So you're gonna play six preliminary games. So you're gonna play everybody once and someone twice. And it's just luck of the draw who you play. I'm sorry if it's the best team, but it's just gonna be luck of the draw. So you're gonna play six games and everyone will be seated. Then what will happen on June 4th is your seventh weekend. And we will have two um, divisions for the ninth grade boys. So we'll have um, first place, second place, third place, and then we'll have fourth place, fifth place, sixth place. And how it'll work is the first place team will have a bye for the first game. So second will play third, and the winner of that will play the first place team for the championship. So out of the six teams, you know, four will be, you know, in finals and we'll get some kind of award um, on, that, on that day. Um, so you could have one game on June 4th, or you could have two. So just make sure everybody on your team um, is prepared for that. And I mean, talk to Gary. I think he lost like all his games last season and then won the championship, right, Gary? It, it was a um, it was a great system, and I really enjoyed last season. But we didn't lose everything. But I'm yeah, kidding. I know. I know. Like one in six going okay. in tournament and. They turned it around. Yeah. So that's, that's, thank you, Gary. So that's, what's nice about it. You know, you can, you can be in any spot during the season, but still, you know, end on a, end on a high note, I guess you could say. And on top of that, I, I'm sure it'll be later on one of these pages, but just to remind you, you know, the score of four to nothing and 10 to nothing gets recorded as four to nothing. So don't worry about scoring 10 goals. You're not going to get extra bonus points. And I'm not even going to record it that way. So um, one, 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 one other thing about the um, tournament is um, they have to end with the win. And so last season, one of my games went to 12 kicks. So it, it, was, <laughs> it was amazing. That's so, great. That's so great. So practice PKs when you get near the end of your season is what um, Gary is saying. Um, okay, hopefully we're going to skip over that. Um, if you're coaching more than one team, like I know Gary is, I will work to deconflict your games and hopefully the practice situation is already okay with that. Um, and this is just about rescheduling. Again, the first thing to do if you have a conflict is check with your assistant to see if they can cover. If neither of you can be there, you know, then you can reach out to me and we can see what we can do. Okay, so just so you guys know, I went to bat for you on this with practices. They wanted to give you, a, I'm gonna say they, um, someone wanted to give you a quarter of a field for practice and I said no. So I guess, I don't wanna say you should be thankful for half a field, but be thankful you have half a field. And it's just because um, I should have started with this, but 
I think we have 6,800 kids playing with us this spring, just in rec from like age three to 19. And I think um, seventh grade boys is like this big, huge number I've never seen before. So there's just a lot of kids. So they were trying to figure out how they're gonna get all these teams um, on the field. Um, and the travel teams use a quarter of a field with their large teams. Well, that's because they're practicing differently than you guys are. And I, I'm not trying to, that's not a cut or anything, but I think, you know, they might be working on different skills where you guys really need to just work on more of a game-like situation. Um, so anyways, you probably won't have a whole field unless maybe you have one of those really late times. Um, so just expect when you show up that someone will be on the other half. Now, if you get there and there's three teams there, please just go ahead and work it out. Someone could practice in the middle of the field uh, and the other two on the far end and then email me, get everybody's name of who was there and then email me and we'll straighten it out um, before the next time. Uh, that if you have all this stuff, this is great. Make sure you have your first aid kit and your ice packs. All this stuff you're gonna pick up on Saturday when you come and see me at the commuter lot. Um, next to Latin Soccer Park. Um, <clears throat> if for some reason, you know, you just decide, hey, I can't play on Saturday, obviously you're not the one to decide that. So you just let me know and we revert back to trying um, getting a reschedule done. Um, if, it's, if it's a weather issue, the referee on site will decide whether or not um, the game can continue. Hopefully you won't have any uniform conflicts, but again, bring your um, vests just in case. And you can tell your kids to get there whenever you want. You know, some of them are gonna show up right at kickoff time or even a few minutes late. So I'll leave that up to you. Um, just like in previous years, um, you and your opposing team will be on one side of the field and the spectators on the opposite side. Uh, hopefully you guys know, I mean, the abridged rules, they, they, we're not gonna hand out all that paper again this year, um, but they are on our website under the coach dropdown under, if you go to um, about, and then coach info, there's a documents link and it'll take you to the abridged rules for every age group. Um, that way, if you wanna print a copy for yourself or at least know where it is in case you have a question um, on a rule. Um, you'll be playing two 40 minute halves. I have allowed two hours between games. So you will have plenty of time to warm up beforehand. Um, again, these are just all you can encourage to rotate, rotate your goalies and your players, but you know by this age, they kind of know, especially the older boys um, and girls, they kind of know where they want to play. Um, here's your substitutions, your throw-ins, the opposing teams throw in, any goal kick, any kickoff, um, injury, and halftime. Again, it's still just wrecked. So please try and make sure everybody's getting 50% play time. It probably won't be an issue, um, you know, with the way kids have other things going on in their lives. If you get all 20 at a game, it might be a little hard, but, um, you know, that probably doesn't really happen. Um, and then if you have someone who's a goalkeeper who really likes to also play on the field, make sure they're getting their, um, you know, you're switching the goalkeeper and they can play on the field the second half. Okay, so if you get to a game, uh, I'm gonna use the ninth grade boys example again. Let's say Gary's team has 20 and he's playing Ashford's team who only has 16, but only 10 of Ashford's players showed up and all 20 of Gary's. Gary would be the perfect sportsman and he would offer four players to Tom's team you know, to play for the game. Um, I know that's not ideal, but the only other thing to do would be to play down and then, you know, Gary would have a bunch of kids standing on the sideline that wouldn't get to play. So hopefully that won't happen, but just keep that in mind. Um, 
I mean, I probably don't need to go over this, but again, once you get up by four goals or maybe three, you know, you can start rotating. If you've got the same person who's scoring all the time, you know, maybe move them around. I mean, you guys have been around, you kind of know how that works. Um, all head coaches should submit scores within 24 hours. I know it's hard to remember. I am going to send you a Google survey link. You guys used it last year. If you coached last year, it's super easy. You put, you know, your name in, what the score was, and where the field and the game time was, and I post the score. Again, for as the example here says, if it's seven one, then it gets posted as five one. But you could go ahead, please go ahead and put the actual score down because it's good for me to know if the teams are that super unbalanced or maybe you could even put a note in there. Like let's say team A beat team B 10 to nothing. You can write that in there and I'll post this for nothing. But then in the comments, write something like, look, this is what happened. The other team didn't have any subs. We tried to stop scoring, you know, whatever the, um, whatever comments you want to put in there, uh, please feel free to do so. Uh, slide tackling, you know, it's not illegal, but it's discouraged. Um, heading is obviously uh, going to worry about injuries. Referee will take care of that. Hopefully last season, I will say it was one of the best seasons we had with refs. I don't know how you guys felt, but I felt we had really good coverage. Um, we have Chris McKay who is our referee director and he's awesome. And I think he's really taking this mentorship thing um, to heart and getting us some good reps out there. So hopefully you guys feel the same way. Um, we shoot for getting three refs for your games, especially the U19 boys. Um, so hopefully that will continue. Um, they're humans, they make mistakes. We all know that you guys have been watching basketball. Um, he's in charge. We don't wanna yell at them. Um, just say thank you at the end. And if there was a problem, you notify me or Chris McKay and just say, hey, you know, I understand the ref was in charge, but they have room for improvement. And then Chris can send someone out and see what's going on. So again, you guys already are positive role models because you're doing this. So just continue that on the field um, and make sure it's, you know, it's fun. And I'm sure with, I didn't have any sons, so I don't know what it's like to have an 18 year old boy around, but I'm sure it's hard once they get all woke up and they really want to win, but um, just do the best you can to keep calm, calm heads out there. Um, at the end, you know, good game. Thank the referees. Please clean up the bench areas, especially you're going to be at school sites and we want to make sure we keep that clean for them um, since they're being so kind and letting us use their facilities. Um, snacks are once again permitted. So the good old snacks that we stopped during COVID. Um, submit your scores and then any issues send to me. Oh, there's Darren's email. Okay, so here's our um, and again, this is on, this is being recorded and this will be on the website, but any issues, there's your three contacts um, after games. And then good luck. Um, okay, let me stop sharing this. Give me a second. Look out of here. And Aaron. What? Yeah. Um, you kind of skipped over it and I haven't okay. got a chance to really read the policy on the website, but um, what is the COVID-19? Like what are, oh, okay. are there, is there anything, are we wearing masks or what? Like, oh no, there's, you do not need to wear masks. No, um, we're, we're done, okay. Hold on, let me stop my share here. Okay, sitting in the dark now. Um, yeah, masks, you can if you want to, but they're not, not required. Okay. Um, if someone comes to you and says, Hey, or they call you and say, hey, Johnny, just tested positive for COVID. Um, uh, you need, still do need to report that to Safe to Sport. So was it safe, safe to Play? Sorry, Safe to Play. And they'll just ask you some questions and then let you know whether or not you need to do anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what other questions does anybody have? 
I know I whizzed through that like really fast. Practice questions, roster questions. About, uh, sorry, about the, uh, sorry here, about the numbers on the jerseys are, yeah. do we have names on the jerseys? How do you know? <laughs> okay, you know so, what size yep. or? Now it's a good question. Okay, so when Johnny signed up, he put in what size he wanted. And hopefully he put in the correct size. And then when Dan ordered the jerseys, if he ordered hot pink, he ordered one through 80. So when I sort the jerseys, I'm not gonna give you duplicate numbers. Um, and hopefully it's all gonna work out. It, it's kind of a, a, I don't wanna say luck, but it is kind of luck when it all works out. Um, so they will, everyone will have a unique number. Hopefully they'll have the correct size. The problem comes is when a parent puts in like youth large, but they really meant adult large. Um, so hopefully I've got extras in each color. And so after you hand them out, if there's any problems, just give them back to me and I'll swap them out. Okay, thanks. Oh, you're welcome. It's a good question. Anybody else? So Karen, I, I put in a practice change request um, and I sent it straight to Jamie. Do you need to okay. know about that? I do not. Okay. But what I need to know is it when she doesn't get back to you. Um, but can actually, now that I said that, um, the person who's joining your team, I told them the schedule that you had. What right. what did what change did you ask for? I'm to take my Friday practice from eight p.m. to five o'clock. Oh well, that person will be happy about that. Okay, all right. So we'll try if I can get it. Okay. Okay, if it's early, you probably can. You probably can't get 6.30, but you can probably get five. Well, that, yeah, I figure there's no point in asking for 6.30 because I would have yeah. got that if it was available. Yeah, yeah, good point. Um, okay, no, that's good. But no, you do not let me, need to let me know about those things on a normal, normal request. Okay. Okay. All right, good. Well, I appreciate you guys taking the time. Hopefully some of that was, was informative. And again, the... The biggest thing right now is just, I mean, if I could read you guys emails I've gotten from people, I, 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 I'm I, sure you guys know this because I've been doing this a really long time, but when I put teams together, I really look at like everybody's requests, when they registered, where they go to school, you know, who they played for before. And somehow I just don't get it right because <laughs> I get like, you know, a bunch of emails. Oh, I really wanted to be over here. Oh no, I can't practice on Tuesday night. So when I email you guys, you know, know that I've looked at all those things beforehand and I'm coming to you to say, you know, I'm no, I know I'm giving you an extra player or is there somebody you can swap with? Um, that's why I'm asking. It's coming from the parent. So we want the kid to be happy, right? If they're happy, you're happy. And if you're happy, I'm happy. So, all right, last call for questions. Hey Karen, this is Elise Chihuahua. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you said this. I, I got. I got on a few minutes late. That's okay. the, What's the cap on the team size? Is it twenty or is it more? Only because I'm getting one of these. Someone's friend is their room, and I'm. I'm like, it's one thing if it's someone that's like I've played with for years, but this is just like, oh, can we just add people? And they're not registered yet or anything. I was just curious what the what okay, the so ideal team size is. You're at twenty. Okay. Um, I don't really want to give you more than 20. And I don't really want more, but I was just, I, for good yeah. faith, I'm asking. <laughs> well, I will say like Marco's got 21. Um, so I would go to 21. Um, it's cause right now it's, this is what's happening right now with the girls teams is everyone's either practicing. Marco's the only coach says says the only one practicing in South Reading out of the eight girls teams. Then I've got a whole bunch of people practicing like North Ashburn, like Potomac Green, Bless, Riverside. And I've got nobody, and then a couple, and then the rest of Brambleton, but nobody in the middle. So I've got like, I don't know if they're on your team, Elise, but I've got like four Freedom Girls say on Eric's team who's practicing at Riverside. And then I've got like four, light rich girls practicing on coach blaze team at you know blessed and obviously they're not happy about having to drive all the way across the county for practice and i get that too but 
you know, it's like the horse or the cart. So I am trying to get some of the practices moved like from you guys. I mean, it's the ones that aren't on the call. So obviously I have to reach out to them, but I guess my point to this is then you wouldn't have to have 22 on your team, Marco, or you know what I mean? At least like you, I could like move people around more, but like right now it's really hard because I don't want to take a, another freedom girl and, you know, stick her over at Riverside practice. So. Sure. So no, answer, and I think that was a no, long just, answer to your question. <laughs> no, no, I that's just, fine. And, and most of my yeah. players, they, they've been with me for years and they're, so they're, they're, they're they would just want to be together and we don't, only one season did we have like several South Riding players, but we don't have that this season. Where are so. you practicing? At Bless, which is which is fine for me. Yeah, that is good for you. Um, I will if you're okay with it, I'll add a player to your team. But if you don't want another player, I'm happy to say no. Also, so yeah, I'd, I'd rather yeah, not. I think for now. But. Okay, then just say no. <laughs> just say okay. no. That's fine. I have a problem with that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm good with that. And same with the rest of you guys. I know, especially like the 10th to 12th grade boys. Your teams are not, because we were able to add the 16, um, the teams aren't packed. So, you know, I, I don't know, with 18, you know, hopefully you'll have enough subs on Saturday. So if any of their friends want to play, I don't have a problem with adding them if you guys don't. Okay, all I got. Um, again, thanks. We're probably going to run out of time in a minute. Thanks for joining, and hopefully I'll see you guys on Saturday. Good evening. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye.